Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the masking. So if I expand uh, this brushes options here, you should be able to find a mask tool by scrolling up. So I need to pick that mask brush. It's a normal brush here. So when I just click and drag over the model, you see a color is changing wherever the stroke is applied. The darker area, which is uh, which I've painted here is the masked area. So this area is going to be unaffected when I choose any other brushes here. For example, I'm using the draw brush and when I'm just painting it over and you should be able to see the effect is seen on the overall model except the masked area. So masked area or masking is very important part of, you know, sculpting workflow. It makes your life way easier. So to access the mask, I need to press M on the keyboard and then just paint it. And then you can exit that just by using the other shortcuts. OK, so when I'm masking here, uh, uh, you have the brush in the hand so you can expand the brush settings here so we have an option called hardness you can choose that and make the brush more harder or softer as per your requirement there you have two options that is draw and smooth right now i'm applying the draw i can just go to the smooth option and then smooth that edges if it's too hard okay you can access that smooth brush while you're painting just by holding shift on the keyboard and then you're painting it or you're making it more smooth or blurred okay you have add and subtract where you can choose a subtract option and you can subtract certain area of the masked one okay uh, well, while you're painting the mask options you can hold control to subtract the masks uh, for more control over the shapes okay uh, you can also explore different types of uh, interpolations of falloffs for your brushes based on your requirement there if you go to the mask section, you have a whole lot of mask options. I'll be explaining a few of them which are relevant or related to the mask. So we have the, the invert to mask. I can press Ctrl I on the keyboard and invert that one. Okay, press Ctrl I. Or you can press A on the keyboard to get this pie menu. And then here you can just choose the invert mask. Okay. You have the other options like fill mask whichever object is selected and then when you go to the fill mask the total object is filled with the mask later you can hold control and remove certain part and then start sculpting over there like that okay so you have a clear mask option which clears the mask here okay you can press alt m for clearing the mask okay so when i'm pressing m i painted the mask press alt m then that clears the mask for you you have box masking you can press b on the keyboard okay and then just click and drag and you have box masked there like that and press alt m to clear the mask again you have a lasso mask you can select that and just click and drag to lasso select that you have options like sharp and smooth mask so what that actually does is when i paint a mask here it's too soft you can make it more sharper okay you can go there and then just click several times to make it sharper again and again okay so you can choose a smooth mask which will soften that masking for you okay you can use this option called grow mask i press a and then choose grow mask okay and i can also shrink the mask which can bring down the mask for you and you have a contrast option which increases the contrast of that which again it, it almost makes your mask more sharper so we have the other tools which are not related to masking but something out of masking so these are all options you can explore for the masking option uh, this is the mask brush or you can press m on the keyboard to access that and, or you can press a to get the pie menu for the mask so these are all options you have for the masking and uh, it can make your uh, you know sculpting more easier and more controlled when it comes to complex geometry types.